Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory right now. S&P's up 19 points at 29.38. You have the Dow up 150 points on the dot, trading 26,494. NASDAQ positive by 43, trading at 79.46. Gold contract pulling back, now negative $12, right at $1,500.50. Quite the story, notes and bonds, lower price and higher yield. The 10-year, negative 20 ticks, 130.20. The 30-year, negative a full point and 17 ticks, 160.201. And the dollar index with weak action, negative 446 ticks at 98.672. We'll start off the 1 o'clock update, and we're going to jump over to a chart of the 10-year yield. There's your yield now at 1.66%. Quite a number when you just back things up to last night. You were trading at 1.54. You're talking about 12 basis points in the span of 12 hours. Pretty remarkable on that yield. Jumping back to the charts, let's pull up the indices. There's your Dow 30. We'll back things up even to overnight last night for the futures. There's your sell-off when the futures open. You had the Dow trade to a low last night of about 26,000. We actually climbed all the way a high today to 26,555. We're about 100 points off that in the Dow, trading 26,449. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar action. We make a high at 11.15 of 77.85. We're about 40 points off that level. S&Ps, highs at a similar time, 29.46, about 8 S&P points below that price. There's your gold contract, pretty much trading inverse with the market gold. As of 8.30 this morning, it was at 15.15, now sitting right at 1,500. We also got natural gas inventories at 10.30 a.m. this morning. We saw a build of 98 billion cubic feet, right in line with estimates. Nonetheless, you have natural gas trade all the way to a low of 221.75. We're currently trading 223.67. And crude oil with action, $53.39. You back up that crude market to Sunday night actually reached a low of 51.45. So you're talking about two solid dollars to the upside from that price level. And in terms of earnings, we got Delta. Delta talking about growing, but growing at a cost as they had to reduce their forecast for earnings per share. War was down to $51, now back at 52.28. Stay tuned, folks. We got a replay this hour, but we got Dave White coming up live at two o'clock with a power trading hour, and then Tom O'Brien live at three to wrap up this market. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.